We've already seen a large block of HMS Queen Elizabeth's hull on its way to final assembly. At more than 65,000 tonnes each, both of the next generation aircraft carriers will be the Royal Navy's largest ever. Will Inglis has been to meet some of the people building them. Millions of man hours have already gone into the ships. They're being built from 80,000 tonnes of steel plate, cut, machined and welded by hand into ever bigger sections. This here, this is, a, this is an insert plate. Right. Uh, this insert plate was cut on the laser machine. All right. The reason uh, we have inserts is that for numerous reasons. This is an ECR, which means that it's a change. So when they've changed the design, later on they've looked at different aspects of the ship and they've decided that they need to make a change. So it's, it's constantly changing. The drawings and the scope of the ship are changing. Once we get to well into the second ship, everything should be, should be sorted. Individual compartments are in turn welded together into huge blocks, like this stern section under construction at BAE Systems in Govan. This ship is due to be commissioned in the year 2016. That means that in just five years' time, this compartment, along with the rest of the vessel, will be at sea. And there won't be scaffolders in it, but Royal Navy sailors. It's the first time ships this big have ever been built in the UK, and parts for both vessels are under construction at the same time. Well, we've actually started the Prince of Wales, the second in class, um, in the blocking hall uh, in Govan. Uh, the units are starting to be fabricated and outfitted. The British shipbuilding industry is a mere fraction of what it once was. But even so, there are plenty of young apprentices involved in this project. It is quite a big deal because it is all the name Scottish shipbuilding and stuff, and it is a sort of dying trade. But then you see the products that's, that's coming out of the yard, and it does make you smile. <laughs> Sections are being built at various shipyards around the UK and then taken to Resyth. Final assembly is due to start there next month. And because so much is already built, the first giant ship will float out in just three years' time. Will Inglis, Forces News.